everyone, Angela here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well and heading into the new season, whether that be spring or autumn, wherever you are. Um, it is lovely to spend some time with you again today and we're working on a, a little journal. Going to make a little Sunday project for you, so I hope that you're keen to follow along. So let's get started. Right, first of all, I'm working on my signature at the moment and I'm wanting to make something which is going to be quick and easy, something I can put into each one of my signatures. So I hope that you're going to grab a piece of paper and come and take um, some notes as we go through it. I'm going to be working on this page over here. So it's the ring page with this lovely lacy paper on the other side. Of course, guys, whatever theme you're working with, this would work beautifully as well. So it's not limited to this. Right, I'm going to put this to the side so long. I'm grab a piece of paper. Um, I have got a piece of paper here. This is a sheet of A4, which I have trimmed down to a, a width. Well, this is a length of... 11 inches now so in centimeters just to make it the same as the US size so it's 11 inches um, in length and that equates to about 28 centimeters okay um, the width of it is 8.25 inches and that equates to 21 centimeters all right so you've got the best of both here the shorter sides for both sizes what I want you to do now, oh, this comes from my, um, right, so this sheet comes from my uh, Tab and Hold journal pages. I've used this one, which is like an old gold with some polka dots behind. Um, and I have printed on the other side. You don't have to do that. There are always options. Um, and I will talk those through with you when we get to that. So I've just printed this pinky page on the underside here. But that's just because I used a reprint, but it we can we can work with that. What I want you to do now is just to fold this sheet completely in half, level up the edges, and just fold it completely in half. So there we go. Right. What I'm going to do now, making sure I have the writing right way up. Um I want to take um, a certain amount off the top here. So I am going to make a, a mark at the 16 centimeter mark. And in inches, that is six and a quarter inches. All right, so I'm going to cut it off right there. So I'm just going to use my little knife here. Um, but you can just draw a line with your pencil and cut it off with a pair of scissors. Right, so there we go. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with now. So we folded our 11 inch sheet of paper in half and the height of this is six and a quarter or 16 centimeters. Okay. Um, what I want you to do is to go and measure in, is this, I'll tell you now, one and three quarter inches from the right hand side. All right, so one and three quarter inches like that. You're going to just uh, make a pencil mark because we all need to rub this out. And we're going to just um, use our burn folder and just make a fold line there. Okay, uh, and like I said, you can then just go and rub that out with your eraser. Okay, then from that line, I want you to measure um, three quarters of an inch or 18 millimeters from there to there. Make a little mark. All right. And then from this side here, 18 millimeters or three quarters of an inch. Make a mark and then make three quarters of an inch mark there and the same there. All right. Once you've done that, you can then draw those marks together and you've got a rectangular box that's sort of centralized on this piece here. OK, so I've drawn that up there. So it's drawing in the three quarters of an inch or 18 millimeters on each side and link up those bits with your ruler and make a little box in the middle. All right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to open that up and I'm going to cut out that little box there. I keep losing the knife. <laughs> All right. So that's easily done. You can use your, your scissors if you don't have a knife. Um, I just do find using a knife really easy. 
but that's because I've used it for a long time. If you're not comfortable with a pair of scissors, you know, if you have to make a cross in the center here and then use a pair of scissors to cut around the edge, or if you've got a die cut this size, you know, there are ways to do this. So just have a look and see what is at your disposal there. Right, so I'm just linking those up. And then the last one here. Okay, and now we should be able to lift that straight out. Okay, we've got a little window there now. Right. Now, um, I would go and distress all of that. And I haven't distressed the whole thing. I've taken another one. So I'm just going to put this one to the side and take the one that I have distressed already. Okay. So there we have it, exactly the same. And then fold the, along that fold line like I mentioned. Okay, we're not going to get quite yet. I want to put in some um, a bit of a window here. I've taken a piece of packaging, which was a bag from a kit um, that I had. And I've you can use cellophane, you can use packaging, film, anything like that. I like to save all those things. And that's what I'm going to stick over there before I join this all up. So, take your glue. And um, don't go too close to the edge of the window. You don't want it to ooze over. Like that. And then I'm going to just take, and I know you probably can't see this, but because <laughs> it's clear, but I want to just make sure it's not going to um catch on the tag that i'm going to put in here ultimately so just going to run some of this right on the edge of this film and this is just as i said old packaging that was i think it had a paper kit in here so it was a big sheet and it's great to use for this okay so um, it's just a bit bent on that side. Let's see if I can get it straight. And then just run your glue wherever you see that it's not quite stuck down properly. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is just cut off this bit because it's the fold line and it's not being very, uh, it's not listening, <laughs> as you'd like to say, you know. But there we go. I'm happier with that. And there we can see we've got that film attached now right now we're able to close this up and i'm not going to put any glue on this side but i'm going to put glue on this flap over here just to join these two flaps together and then of course at the very bottom on the panel opposite the film okay and then just to you could use a glue stick for this bit here really it's going to work just as well. Okay, just run it close to the edge on that side. Right, so fold it in half. Get that glued nicely. And get that all sorted like that. All right. Okay happy with that now what i was saying to you if you haven't um if you aren't able to print double-sided just go and get a scrap um, and fit it in and cover that white area that's going to show there there you've seen me do that many times anyway um so it's not the end of the world if you're not able to print double-sided all right so let's just now fold this bit over like that I'm just going to take my burn folder and do that. I'm going to open it up for the moment, but we want it to be able to fold over. Okay, um, what I want to do now is just put a few decorations on here. So I've got a little bit of lace, a nice ballet color lace. And I'm going to just put that over 
um, I'm going to do the second. I'm going to put my little die cuts on, just thinking it through. Okay, so I've got some of these die cuts. This is from the Sizzix Wildflowers. You know, it's one of my favorites and I love to use these. And I don't know which one it is, but I think they're about three of these sets. Um, and I use them all the time, all the time. And it's not like a um, a punch. They just keep going. So, you know, you can't really wear them out. Well, I haven't managed to, and I really do use them often. Okay, I've got this just peeking over that window there, which I do like to do that. Um, like that. And it doesn't matter that that's going to peek over. That's going to really, I like that kind of thing. Now I've got the lavender one, so I want that one to go... No, I want it more over this way, like that. So I'm just seeing where I want that, and I'm going to stick this one down as well. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope that you've had lots of crafting time and you're having a relaxing weekend, distressing yourself from the world and just taking a little bit of time for yourself. You know, that's what it's all about, especially for me. Okay. Let's do this like this, and we'll just lean this one a little bit over that way, like that. Yeah. Um, and then I've got this one I cut out of the little polka dot paper, pink polka dot paper. And I do like to use the usual, this is a 65, 60 pound weight or 160 GSM. And I do like to use the pattern background pages to do this often. Um, I do. Okay, this one. We want you over here. So a bit too high. We'll just have that over there. Okay. Right, now I can go and stick the lace down. I wasn't sure how low those um, stems were going to go. So I thought I'd just stick those down first right we've got a little bit of our this is a fabric tack in here or beacon three in one very similar really i don't really know what the big difference is between the two of those but i've used both and to me they seem very similar right so this one is a little bit too long i'm going to cut that off okay there we go. So let's just bend that over. So there's that. And that. Right, so we've got that there. And then, you know, life wouldn't be complete if I didn't add a little butterfly. Because they're such gorgeous little things and I do love them. They just finish it off for me. I really like it. And we'll get the butterfly, I think, at the bottom here. So we'll just do that like that. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Right, happy with that. Um, now I want to do something on this side. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by putting on some lace just on this side here. So I'm going to just turn this over. And I'm going to run some of my glue. Um just down the edge here like that and then I'm able to lift this up this is beautiful lace which I love using from Plum Boutique um, it's one of my all-time faves I've used it often so there we go I've got that peeking through there Okay, so that's good. You can go and sew that if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. Um, right, just a couple more goodies here. I'm just going to grab them. So I'm going to use a pink daisy here from that pink cardstock that you know I like to use. So let's just put that down. I hope you guys have got fun things to do today. Um, you know, we're coming up to the Easter break soon, 
that's next month i think um i'm still waiting for spring to kick in here and i don't see any green shoots on the plants so let me know if you've experienced spring yet or not right so we want to put this like this and i'm going to get it just there then um this is from I think this is from my delicate leaves. Right. I'll just get that one stuck down there as well. I'm going to use one of the sentiments here. To be in love is to surpass, one, surpass oneself. Oscar Wilde. Lovely. Okay, that's in my ephemera and sentiments kit. In the to have and to hold there we go got that there and then just a weeny little butterfly again from my pastel butterflies and i printed these two to a page that's why they're so small but i do love using them in all the different sizes we'll put it on the green okay right okay um now what i want to do is i've cut one of these tags this is one of the large tags from the kit just put in one of these lovely satin um it's like a peach pink uh with the tiny old gold polka dots just love that i've put in one of these little one inch no it's smaller it's half an inch um little circle punch there and i've just put a little eyelet um just on top of that just sticking that down there properly and then um put a little sentiment and a little flower and those flowers are from um spring foliage wreath so I'm, that's going to go into this pocket here so we'll get that in like that okay just position it properly okay so that we've got that there and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the page and i'm going to open it that's the other one we did before i'm going to go to this page here and i'm going to stick this down so i'm going to stick this on the underside like that all right so we need to let go of that we want to get this in place and I think I'm going to just put a little two clips there just so that I know I've got it straight all right and then I'm going to turn that over like that make sure that I've got it nicely joined up and I'm going to just take my um, fabric tack and I'm going to run some of the fabric tag just on the edge here of the page and i'm going to put some of it over there and some bit over there okay so you want to just hold that down and now we've got that so let's just hold that there and hold that there so well, I'm needing three pairs of hands. I'm going to just clip this one here and I'm going to just hold this one for a little bit. And that's why these clips are so great. Now we've got a little tuck spot on this side. And when I've sorted this out, we should have a flip, a flip up on the und underside. Let me just get this all together properly. Okay, so that's what we have over there. Now we can tuck a lovely piece of ephemera in there. Um, and on this side, when I take the clips off, this should just flip up and down and you can write, stick photos and do whatever you want to underneath there. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so now we've got our flip up. You can also stick something, uh, a writing spot there. 
you can journal here stick beautiful photographs there you can put that down um, you've got your tag over there you turn over the page and we've got a great place to stick another piece of ephemera like a journal card or something else and that's our little project for today easy i'm going to make another one of these in a different sheet of paper for the other signature so um we will have two of those um, with different designs, one for each signature. Signature. Okay, everyone, I hope that you've had fun with that. Um, I've got a little surprise coming this week later on, extra video. And that I want to share with you so look out for that I hope to do that on Thursday I think um, so look out for that one um, and go and have a go at making one of these all right it was a lot of fun to do and really quick and easy and I just like having a flip um, and a tuck all in one okay have a great weekend um, and i'll see you again on tuesday with our next little video stay well guys bye bye